The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. How are you today, my friends? How are you today? I hope that you're okay, my friends. Oh, deep in my heart, I want to say, I hope that you're okay today. Did you hear that noise? There was a very, very loud car had just driven by as I sang that I hope that you're okay and that's why my eyes went like this. Hi, it's great to see you. I'm wearing a very fun painty stripey shirt that my daughter got for me and it's really beautiful. I like it. I love it actually. It helps me to express some of myself and today I'm going to read The Rainbow Fish and I'm going to read The Rainbow Fish in honor of my friend Ada. Ada is a young lady who is so amazing and beautiful and wonderful. And each year, um, and that is including this year, there is an event that Ada's family has and it's called the World of May, M-A-E. Her name is Ada May. And that event has typically a, a five kilometer run. Mr. Greg likes to run in that. And then there are prizes and music and hula hoopers and musicians along the way. Crafts and food. It's just such a lovely celebration of Ada. And this year, that event can't happen live and in person. So um, it's going to happen virtually, as everything is happen happening virtually. So this particular book uh, honors, is for me in honor of Ada, and um, let's read this book. Now, we're going to read this book, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the book, because Mr. Greg has some feelings and thoughts um, beyond the core message of the book. Is that cool? I think it's cool, right? Let's read the book. You see that the book is um, very much blue and green with the rainbow fish living under the water, although there are these beautiful little bursts of red and then this shiny, shiny silver material. Well, here we have the rainbow fish was the most beautiful fish in the sea. But he never played with the other fish. I'm too beautiful, he thought. All of those fish are so enamored. That means they really love and are interested in and are taken by how beautiful and unique is that fish. And of course, my friend Ada is a beautiful and unique fish as well. Actually, Ada is more a mermaid. But of course, I believe Ada would absolutely befriend this beautiful fish. My goodness, it's so beautiful. Once, a little blue fish asked for one of his shining scales, which is an interesting request. But the rainbow fish just laughed. Never, he said. And after that, the other fish swam away from him. The rainbow fish was all alone. And he does look a bit lonely. Hmm. He went to the starfish for help. Why doesn't anybody like me? He asked. Go ask the octopus, said the starfish. She is very wise. So off the rainbow fish went to see the octopus. The octopus said, 
give away your shining scales. You won't be as beautiful, but you will have friends. I can't do that, cried the rainbow fish. Well, suddenly the little blue fish was back. Please, he said, could I have just one scale? Well, the rainbow fish thought, maybe just one tiny scale. The little blue fish was so happy and pleased. It made the rainbow fish feel happy as well. That's a shared emotion. Well, soon all the fish came and the rainbow fish gave away his scales one by one. Finally, he had only one shining scale left, but now as he swam off to play with his friends, he was the happiest fish in the sea. Of course, this story is about sharing. And sharing is a very beautiful thing to do. Now, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? If you remember when Mr. Greg talked about the egg shaker, um, and when we talked about elephant and piggy, I believe we, the book may have even been sharing is hard. And sharing is very difficult. And particularly for this beautiful rainbow fish who had come to believe that perhaps his entire worth or his whole personality was about how beautiful he was. And that's a tough thing to, to, to think because really the beauty is inside of the fish and the fish needed to take some time to ask the starfish and the wise octopus. Now, the octopus indicated to the fish that if you share your scales, you'll be less beautiful. However, I will have one little point of contention with the octopus. Uh, I believe that the rainbow fish is absolutely gorgeous. Here, and here. And I'm really focused on that gentle, calm smile on his face. And he did learn the lesson that if we share, that can be a very positive way to build relationship. But also, I think, and I, I not only do I think, I'm absolutely sure that initially when that rainbow fish was not ready to share, and if he never became ready to share, that would have been okay as well. And I believe he would have found a way to understand where his beauty was and how to make connections with other people, other fish. And so many of us in interacting with my friend Ada. And you can think about somebody in your own life who is such a beautiful person or in your life um, that you just want to have a, a piece of them. And that piece of them can be a, a, a scale that in the book, it's an actual scale. But there are friends I think about. I think about my friend Mark. I think about my friend Oliver. I think about my friend Sean. I think about so many friends. I think about Kevin. And I think about, well, Wilhelmina and Una. And I think about Fiona. So many friends who I love to have small pieces of them with me. And, and those pieces that I carry with me are so often uh, bits of a smile or the way that they tell a joke or... Um, 
their um, quirky little way of laughing or how they usually support me and love me um, unconditionally. As I unconditionally love you. And you includes my friend Ada. And so I don't want to, to argue with the octopus. But I do think that this beautiful little rainbow fish is worth, and, and the rainbow fish found that out, was in sharing a piece of himself that he thought, and that even the octopus thought would make him less beautiful, but have more friends. And it turned out that he is equally as beautiful and found a way to share pieces of himself with people who were inter with fish who were interested in in knowing him and that community was formed and that's the beautiful thing about the world of ada even now virtually is that there's so many wonderful beautiful people musicians artists parents children mr greggs and all in between who come together to celebrate a friend, who we all give a little piece of ourselves to. For me, it may be reading a story, sharing a smile, what I'm doing right now, and receiving a piece uh, of that friend in return. Um, a glance, a giggle, a snuggle, something like that. Anyway, I love you very much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And... I look forward to seeing you again soon.